guys. Today I thought I'd show you how I build my reverb kicks in Ableton Live. The way I do it is possibly different to the way other people do it, but I find this works quite well for me and uh, it's fairly simple to set up, so let's get started. As you can see here, I've just dragged in a 909 core kit, the default kit for Ableton. I've created a MIDI channel and I've just created a one bar loop. Now the way I'm going to show you, you could do this for samples as well if you've got particular kicks, but I thought I'd show you how to do this using a drum rack since I tend to use a drum rack quite a bit when building my tunes. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate this first track. So let's just right click and duplicate. Now what I'll do is I'll rename this, I'll call it whoops, transient and I'll rename the second one and I'll call that body. Now I'm actually going to duplicate it one more time. Rename that as I guess rumble. We'll just leave the transient on for now and what we're going to do is hit the play button and I'm going to adjust the length go to one shot I'm going to adjust the length of the sample just so we're getting that initial transient that that click uh, of the drum. Okay, that'll do. Uh, we can adjust that when we bring in the other ones. If you want that transient to be a little bit more obvious, you can also transpose it. Okay, so I'll just go up in uh, one semitone for now on that. Now I'm going to bring in the body. And I'm actually just going to leave that like that for now. As you can see, if I turn it off and on, it just gives the transient a little bit more body. Okay, let's go down to the rumble. Now I am going to use the Convolution Reverb, which is free with Max for Live. So you can download that if you don't have it already from the Ableton website. Drag it onto the end. Now the settings that I personally like to have is the plates digital and dark plate. Now let's just see how that sounds on its own. Okay, as you can hear, you can hear that transient kicking in. So what we'll do is we'll just go to one shot and we'll just fade the sample in. Just so we're not hearing that transient so, so loud anymore. Okay, now let's hear it all together. Not too bad. Okay, now what we're going to do is grab an LFO tool, uh, which is a paid, paid for plugin, but I highly recommend it. So I'm going to grab the first instance of it and drag it onto the transient. And I'm just going to swap that over. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. And now I'm going to add one onto the rumble as well. And this will be the opposite of what I did on the transient. So whereas the transient, I had this section coming in. For this bit, we're going to, whoops. We're not gonna let the rumble kick in until the transient is already played. Okay, now if you want to smooth that out a bit, you can just adjust this smooth scroller. And you can hear that clicking, if you can hear it, uh, disappears. Just where the transient is. Okay, 
Okay, obviously you can adjust your decay, the size, uh, the dry wet of your convolution reverb, but we'll just leave it like that for now. The next thing I'm gonna do is select them all, right click and group the tracks. Then I'm gonna go over to audio effects. I'm gonna go to the glue compressor. And if we click the drop down, you'll see there is a preset called full parallel. We shall drag that onto the group. What I'm gonna do is adjust the attack so it's a lot quicker to compress. And we can leave the release as is. Maybe I'll uh, take it out just a notch. It's not too bad. And a little bit of makeup. So let's now compare it with and without the glue compressor. As you can hear, it sounds a lot more full. Uh, another thing you can add if you want is the great drum bus. Drag that on before the glue compressor. Now this is good if you want the transients to be even further enhanced. Adjust the transients. So that's it really. That's a, a quick and easy way to create a reverb drum kick for your techno tunes. Any further tweaking to the EQ, etc., I'd most likely do on the group. Although if you want to remove certain sounds from any of these three channels, feel free to chuck an EQ in and edit them that way. I hope you guys found that interesting. If you enjoyed that tutorial, please hit the like button and we'll catch up with you again soon.